Hello everyone, welcome to this latest tutorial. Hopefully the Bundesliga is back, football is back. That's if coronavirus stays away and we're a stay all stay safe, which I hope you all are during this lockdown. But that's inspired me to create this uh, this poster. You can turn it into a match day poster, but um, I'm just going, going to go through the basics. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. Now, working on a Mac, so I'm going to press Command N. If you're working on Windows, Control N. It'll bring up the new document page. And I'm going with 1200 by 1600. That's 1200 width, 1600 pixels portrait, 300 pixels per inch, RGB color, 8-bit white, and click Create. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in Signal Iduna Park where Dortmund play and I'm going to size it up. I'm going to use the transform tool there. And I'm going to go for something like that. I'm going to hit enter. Now I want to get rid of the sky. Now because of all these little windows and these uh, little, little bits, it would take absolutely ages to use the pen tool and... This image isn't the most highest resolution. So how I like to do it is I like to go to select uh, color range. And I've already selected 130 up here, depending on the stadium and the image you're using. Okay, that'll be different. But around 130, I'm going to select a color, uh, which is blue in the sky. I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see we've got our marching ants. Okay, so before I uh, select the... Um, Layer mask down here, I'm going to press Command, Shift and I, or Control, Shift and I, and I'm going to click the layer mask and that mask it. Now, as you can quite clearly see, it's not done a very good job. So what we can do is hold Alt on our keyboard and select this little thumbnail over here where it's been masked, and you'll see it's changed. Now, to start with, I'm going to tidy up, so I'm going to make sure I've got uh, black and white selected over here. Just press uh, X or D, yeah, X. D swaps them over um, and I'm going to go for a white and I'm going to take a hard brush and I'm just going to make sure my flow is up for a start and I'm just going to tidy it up and careful not to go over the areas so the black areas working non-destructively that's what's being masked away and that's where our sky is going to be so I'll just take a second to do this don't forget you can keep pressing Alt just to uh, have a reference. And I think that'll be okay for that bit. And I'm going to get rid of the rest of the sky, so I'm going to press X on my keyboard, swaps the colors over, zoom out. So I'm using uh, my pad on my laptop to zoom out. Okay, and I'm just going to paint away now. You'll notice if I press Alt again. I don't think I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the screen on YouTube, but it's not quite it's not quite good enough. So I'm going to take a soft brush, and this time I'm just going to be careful, and because I'm just doing this for the tutorial, I am rushing a little bit. Do take your time, and if you want, you can do in and out of these as well. Again, it's entirely up to you how much you want to do that. So, there we go. So, our sky's masked away. Now, I'm going to select this uh, background layer here just so. Uh, the sky is going to fall underneath now. You might recognize this image before. I've used it uh, on my previous tutorials with the Mbappe one. Okay, and I really love it. I love the pastel colors. And I'm going to bring up the orange a little bit. So I'm going to place it around there. And just so it's covering it, I'm just going to grow it out a little bit. There we go. Uh, fantastic. Right, so what we're going to do now, we are going to give it a tilt shift. So I'm going to press Command, Shift, Alt and E. Okay, and this gives it a, a layer stamp. So I'm going to convert this to a smart object as well. This means you can go back and edit it. Go to Filter, Blur Gallery and Tilt Shift. Now I'm going to drag this down. 
not that bit, the whole thing. So kind of want the grass blurred and the top of the stadium. And this little pin here, just going to tilt it, as it says in the tin. It's not going to be as strong, maybe about 12. Make it a little bit bigger there. And tilt it again, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to click OK. That's looking good to me. So let me just check. Yeah, we'll do some hue saturation and curves now. So I'm going to uh, go to my adjustment layers. I'm going to go to hue saturation. I'm going to drop it down to around minus 30. Again, if you're using a different stadium, just be conscious. So you don't have to use these uh, these settings that I'm putting in. It's entirely up to you. And I was going to do curves next, yeah. And I'm going to just darken it. Fraction, there we go. Now, when I bring in Marco Royce in a minute, as you can see here, I've taken it away a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to add a colour balance. It's that colour balance there. And the mid-tones. I'm going to bring up it's about plus 19. Drop the yellows to around minus 19. Shadows. I'm just going to give them a slight, nothing too drastic. And the highlights. I'm going to go the other way. I'm just going to drop them down minus five, plus five. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll bring in Marco Royce and we'll size him up. Now, what I did is I just turned him around slightly as well and zoom out. I made him a little bit bigger. Yeah, I can't wait for the football to start. Bundesliga. I do like watching uh, European football. So I digress slightly. Sorry. So this curves layer there. You can see it's a little bit grey in, in this cloud. I don't want that. Got black selected. Okay. Got a soft brush. I'm just going to drop the flow down. It's around fifty. Just going to paint away there. So again, nothing too drastic. We've still got this uh, vignette um, feel to it, um, but it's looking okay. Now, Marco Royce got this from Footy Renders. It's uh, I'm liking the exposure on it already. I'm not going to do too much. However, what I am going to do is we're going to do a couple of effects. We're going to give him a bit of a motion blur on his arms, and we're going to give him a bit of a um, how would I call it? A bit of a glow. So, new layer. Hold Alt on my keyboard to create that clipping mask. If that's not working, just right click and it'll uh, say create clipping mask. Just click on it there, but because I've already got it, it says release. Okay, I've got this pastel blue. I'm going to maybe go a bit more white. Just uh, just slightly. Just You can just use white if you want. Hit B on my brush tool. Okay, flow I'm going to bring down to around dry 30. Okay, make it nice and small. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint a glow on. And again, I think, I don't know if it's this image or what, but it just looks really nice having this glow on. I don't want it on that black bit there. So, with this, I will just take your time and make sure you get it right. So, while I just do this, has everyone selected a favourite German team to watch? <laughs> I do like watching Dortmund, I must say. I've got family from Germany, so I think Dortmund was the closest club, so I was a bit of a football hipster, especially when. Um, Jurgen Klopp was manager of Dortmund back in the day. 
seven, eight years ago. There we go. Can zero, bring it back. And then what I'm going to do is create a new layer. Alt, Alt. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. I'm going to keep the flow 30. I'm just going to give them a couple of taps around. Now, if you notice, see how I'm doing it on the edge? I'm not doing it over the uh, top of him. Less is more. I'm not being too uh, too dramatic or drastic. If we go back to this layer as well, let's just do under those arms. Again, I do like making these style of uh, wallpapers or these um, these edits. Okay, that will do me now. Good, uh, good trick. So he looks like he's got a radial motion blur. So I'm going to select the top layer here, of the shading and marker Royce. So all three layers to do with him are selected. I'm going to merge them. So I'm going to right click or double click, and I'm going to go to merge layers. There now one. I'm going to convert this to a smart object again, and I'm going to go to filter, blur, radial blur. Uh, Sorry, no, filter, blur, motion blur, filter, blur, motion blur. And I've got a 10 inch uh, distance, 10 pixels, 10 inch, uh, doesn't matter about the angle. And I'm going to click OK. This little box here, smart filters, OK, all we're doing is masking away, it's like a layer mask. So you can keep it at 30 and just paint over and go down his body. And then depending where you how you want it. So I'm just gonna creep into his arms a little bit and around there and maybe his shoulder, maybe not as strong. So for the face. So now he's really standing out to the image. So we've got our stadium that's not blurred, the top is, the bottom isn't, the grass is blurred, sorry, and so are his arms. And we're gonna finish off a few little finishes. I'm gonna to go to Curves first, and what did I do? Pulled it across, pulled it up, and I'm going to go to the reds. And you just play around with it ever so gently. I'll play with the blues as well. I'm going to go the opposite way for the blues. These little less curves. And you'll see the effects that you can achieve. I really like that. How that's turned out. And brightness and contrast, I think, was my last one. I'm just going to bring that up. A little bit there and there is our poster really I'll say really quick um, spent a while playing around with that so hope you enjoyed it again just a few techniques and um, just shows you how I do my workflow how I go about making my edits obviously practice is perfect a lot of people are following me on Instagram which is uh, great to see in the they're sending me their uh, their images and their edits and I'm, I'm seeing them when I'm following people when I can um, so yeah, it's, it's fantastic. So I hope you uh, all develop your own style. Another kind of design to follow and edit along with. So thanks for watching. Next Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to do some sort of uh, like a pop out of a, like a stadium out of a phone. I've got an idea for something like that. And I'm close to 1500 subscribers and like nearly 100,000 views as well. So I'm going to put together a graphics pack. I'm going to try and cram absolutely loads in there. Bit of a thank you for all your support. Um, for following me and learning Photoshop. I hope you're all enjoying it. So to that end, I will see you in the next tutorial.